Hey guys, Craig from Flying Wheels in Danville, New Hampshire. Today we have a central tools ball joint gauge and tool to check uh, rotor run out. We're going to set it up and show you how to use it. Real quick, we'll make it an easy video. I have two of them, so one's already set up. What you're trying to do when checking ball joints, you'll see your ball joint right there. You want to isolate movement from the ball joint using the control arm and the knuckle. So you'll see here on this vehicle, I've already put my vice grip on the control arm. It's loose until I get it to the point where I want it on top, somewhere placed on the knuckle above the ball joint. So I am isolating movement, only that ball joint. We'll set up our flashlight. And you'll see right here, there's actually enough space for me to fit a pry bar. Can you hold that for a sec? So I can put my pry bar right in between the ball joint and control, control arm and move. And you'll see right here the movement. You can check on all data uh, or another program like that for the uh, allowance allowed. But this right here, I'm putting minimal pressure in between the knuckle and the control arm. And that's how you can see and use your ball joint gauge. Thanks for watching.